Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today we are thrifting and styling spring home decor. I'm gonna take you with me and do more vlog style, do some thrifting, share kind of as I am thrifting, adding things to my cart, share them with you so that you feel like you're thrifting along with me today. And then we will come back to my house and of course style all of the thrifted items. I hope today you leave feeling inspired and also like you hung out with a friend. So let's head to my favorite thrift store now and see what we can find. One section I never miss is the candle section. I love to look here. I have found some really beautiful, unique pieces. That is so pretty. I'm gonna add that to my cart. $2.99, and of course, I've got my coupon. It's kind of pretty and unique. I kind of love this basket. It's super pretty. I like the color. It's not too orange, but still has some warmth to it. So I'm gonna add that to my cart for $3.99. I love baskets, so I never pass this section. You can find some really great ones here. Planters and ceramic is another section I never pass up. Oh my goodness, this is like solid. I kind of love the color of that, how it's earthy, neutral toned. The shape is kind of cool too. add this one to my cart for $3.99 over at the vases oh my goodness this is so pretty so cute
I love to look here for old vintage serving ware, rolling pins. I have found some beautiful silverware here before. This is pretty. I don't love that design, but you can find lots of things here. Ooh, what do we have here? This is kind of pretty. I'm loving bringing in marble for the spring and summer. So I'm gonna add this to my cart for $4.99. We've got quite a collection happening today. Always on the hunt in this section because I have found my copper pots here. I've also found all of my cast iron pans. So another good place to look. Going through the throw blanket section. Ooh, this is nice. I love the waffle texture and the color. It's light. This is $8.29, and I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my cart. Love the vibe that we've got going on today. and it had a huge stain on it so I am leaving it behind but it was so beautiful I'm just looking to see anything else that catches my eye yeah no and then we have all the throw pillows too that I like to just go through and see Okay, back in the car, I thought I would share the items so you can see them better and what exactly I took home. Starting off with this gorgeous planter. I don't know why I loved it. I just thought that the texture was absolutely gorgeous. I love the shape. I feel like the swirls on it go really, really well with the mirror on my mantle. So I brought it home, but it was $4.99. Of course, I had my 20% off coupon. I ended up bringing this pillow home. It ended up being $3.99. So a steal of a deal, even just for the downfilled insert, but love the color. The next thing I ended up bringing home was this gorgeous waffle blanket. Again, I love the neutral earthy tone of it. It was only $8.29 and I think it will look beautiful styled on my couch. I brought home this sweet little planter. It was only $3.99 and I think it will look really pretty stacked on some books on my open shelving and just bring in more bright colors for spring. I also took home this gorgeous stone dish. This was only $2.99 and you might remember I thrifted one similar to this a couple months ago now and it broke sadly so I think that this is a perfect replacement I also took home this gorgeous basket I loved the shape I love the color like I said in the store it's still warm but not so orange and I think this will look really pretty I'm picturing it just on my kitchen island with some florals inside but we'll see how we style it this was only $3.99 and I could not pass it up 
The next item I took home, I don't think I showed you, it started to get really busy in the store. <laughs> and I feel like when I have my camera out, people are like, what is this lady doing? Even though all of us watch thrifting videos, so maybe some of them do too, but anyways, so funny. Uh, but I saw this hanging up on the wall of goodies, as I like to call it, and it's just a mix of old mixing spoons, and there's like this really cool beater that I've wanted for so long. I was happy to find that, and this was only $6.99, and it came with all of this, and also a can opener. So I was happy to find these. And then the last thing I took home was this gorgeous marble piece. This is so solid and heavy, and I have added a couple different marble pieces to my home over the past few weeks. I think it's so nice to just mix new and old to really create a collected look. So I thought this was a great piece to have for $4.99. I'm pretty sure it's missing the, is it a motor and pestle? <laughs> I think that's what you call it but I'm sure I can come up with an idea to use this in a different way. So I'm excited for this. And again, it was only $4.99. So those are the items that I picked up today. Let's head home and I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee and I am going to get to styling these items, hopefully give you some inspiration, show you what you can do with thrifted items and how you can take them from the store use them in your home in a beautiful way. So let's head home now and do some styling. Starting here in my Eden kitchen, I have this open shelving that I love to style for seasons. And I started off with that sweet little brass planter. I just added a few grocery store tulips, very inexpensive. I then went in with a bunny cookie jar that I've had for years. I used the marble piece that we thrifted today along with some simple wooden spoons. And then I went in with this beautiful thrifted pitcher that I picked up just a couple weeks ago. I have shared my process of decorating in a few videos. I will link a full playlist of thrifted and styled videos for you in my description box. But basically to make it simple for me, I just repeat items on each shelf. So if I have wood items, I put wood items on the following shelf and mixed metals, white ceramic and glass i just repeat them and i try and do it in a zigzag pattern just so your eye has somewhere to follow but you'll see that i use those vintage serving spoons that we found in the bag of goodies i also used a picture stand that i thrifted last video along with a beautiful vintage pear piece of art i love that piece of art you can see my sourdough in a vintage not a vintage, sorry, a thrifted canister. And that is how that open shelving came out. I absolutely love it. Moving on to the table, this is where the kids mostly eat and it's a place for breakfast and lunch and chats about our day. So I like to keep this really simple. I shared this in a recent video as well. So I just changed out the flowers for these beautiful hydrangeas, which I think go really well with the vintage plates. Working over on this area, just creating a simple vignette. I love using baby's breath. Any grocery store flower that I can dry out and use again and again, I love. It saves us money and it also just looks so beautiful and simple. So I added some baby's breath to this previously thrifted vase and a sweet little bunny. This is a gorgeous picture that I thrifted a couple weeks ago, maybe last week. And I just added in that bag of goodies was a mixer. So I just added that to the picture and I think it looks so beautiful on my open shelving. Adding a simple flocked bunny over here to my coffee bar area. That beautiful stone dish is going to be a home for this candle that one of my good friends bought me for Christmas. I love how this turns out. I'm so happy that I brought home this basket today. I'm going to style this here on my island really simply using these gorgeous wildflowers that I've had for years. 
and I'm also just adding some tangerines. I could see this styled with pears or apples, whatever you have peaches in the summer would be beautiful. But we had these gorgeous little tangerines, so that is what I used today. And I love how this came out. Hopefully this encourages my kids to grab one. That is the hope. And it just creates this beautiful little moment here on my kitchen island. I love how this all came out. I think it looks simple and beautiful and really just showcases how you can take thrifted items and use them beautifully in your own home. Keeping things really simple on the mantle, I'm using this gorgeous piece of pottery that I found today at the thrift store with some simple dried florals from the grocery store. I love how they represent spring. It almost looks like they're budding, so beautiful. Everything else is thrifted, a beautiful bunny. I have a brass candlestick with a thrifted candle. Also a gorgeous fluted vase with some simple baby's breath. And I also have beautiful brass coasters that were also thrifted. So together they created this gorgeous, simple yet almost moody moment here on my mantle. Lastly, I styled the couch with that gorgeous blanket and pillow that we found at the thrift store today. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope I was able to give you some inspiration today. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Also, I just recently started a new Instagram, so I will link that in my description. More of a behind the scenes with me, so if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and follow me over there. But again, thank you so much for watching, and I am so grateful for every single one of you, and can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.